priorities in this country are all wrong. You ever feel that way? I feel like the only two things we care about anymore are recycling and celebrities. And we've even gone as far as to recycle our celebrities. Don't believe me? Take a look at who's back. Billy Ray Cyrus, New Kids on the Block, Brett Michaels. I was unimpressed with these assholes first brush with fame. Why the fuck are we giving them a redo? Oh, come on, Stanley. Nostalgia can be fun. Really? Even when it comes to something that sucks? Listen, I've been kicked in the balls before. I'm in no hurry to have it done again just for the sake of nostalgia. But they're back and they're performing and they're selling out crowds. You know what this tells me? The learning curve never kicked in. You see, people would rather resort to something they know because it's familiar rather than go out and experience something new, no matter how god-awful it is. It's kind of like the girl who sleeps with her ex-boyfriend knowing that he's a fan of the donkey punch. Sure, she hates it, but there's comfort and familiarity. And by the way, what a bunch of unimpressive, uninspiring, talentless apes they are. And that's what they are. Overpaid, overmarketed, talentless apes. Period. If it were a matter of talent, Brett Michaels would be playing an open mic night in a dive bar in Hollywood after working a long shift at a car wash. Would you like turtle wax and some armor all on your dash? Touch my dick. We get it. You know the chords D and G. You're a musical genius. You want to impress me? See if you can make a noose out of fake hair. But women love him. They do. Rock of love. Those chicks are skanky too, they are. I found out they were coming to Chicago, I immediately threw on a rubber and took some penicillin. There's nothing rock about him. You think Jack White's ever gone tanning? I don't think so. Marketing. That's not true, Stanley. We give new performers a chance all the time. What about American Idol? Those are people we don't know and we give them a shot at fame. True, but you notice they only sing cover songs. So basically we create new stars out of the shitty soundtrack of our past. What is this obsession with making everyone an overnight success in this country? America loves an underdog, but only when it comes in the form of a sports team or an entertainer. Never when it comes down to things that actually matter, like our policies or your right as an individual. And that's another thing. Somewhere along the lines, this country became one big mediocre talent show. American Idol, America's Got Talent, America's Next Top Model, Pro Project Runway. Toddlers and tiaras dancing with the stars. What a fucking joke. Every lunatic with cap teeth and a dream thinks they're somehow entitled to fame and fortune in this country. But we do it. We make them famous. Then we make them infamous, which is my favorite part. Did you hear what Miss California said about gay marriage? No. You know why? Wasn't listening. Sorry, but I don't take my social cues from someone just because they look pretty in a convertible on Thanksgiving. Remember this intellectual juggernaut? And uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as. Yeah, she placed in the top three in a similar contest. Top three. Weren't you the belle of the ball? Hmm. I don't listen to beauty pageant contestants, just like I don't call the prom queen from my senior year and Ask her which way I should lean when it comes to abortion. Miss California, holy shit. That controversy cranked out more right-wing nut jobs than Elizabeth Hasselbeck's vagina. And fuck liberals too while I'm at it. Seriously, I don't litter and I'm not racist. That's all you're getting out of me. Whose side is this guy on? No one's. I've read Animal Farm. I have a pretty good idea of how it all works out. You see, the media pumps out these stories because they're bored and they know you'll buy into it. Their whole business is predicated on it. Shitty parents all over the country believe that anyone who gets a modicum of airtime is somehow responsible for being a role model for their children. Eat shit. Fame and morality aren't mutually exclusive. If you're willing to accept someone at the drop of a hat to be a role model for you and your stupid kids, don't get your panties in a wad when they do or say something you don't agree with, you dopey twat. My point is, aggressive marketing and media hoopla are just going to keep shoving nonsense down your throat until you have the gag reflex of Sasha Gray. Eventually, stupid people will swallow anything controversial as a significant issue because in the end, all they're worried about is taking a side. People love to take sides in this country. You're the problem. That's the problem. Let me tell you what the problem is. It makes them feel important when they regurgitate unoriginal opinions between the water cooler and keeping up with the Joneses.
They have no real social aptitude, so they put moral stock in celebrities because they believe that success is measured by how much money you have or how often you make an appearance on television. And they want so desperately to be identified in that very same way. So strong opinions about nonsense issues fills that void for them. Everybody wants a mansion and an iPhone and a hard dick and a lollipop. They want a pat on the back. They want spinner rims and a bedazzled Ed Hardy t-shirt. They want a cool haircut and fake tits and a dog in their purse. They don't give a shit. They want courtside seats and Paul Walker movies. And they apparently want all of that to the sound of the guy that broke their achy breaky heart. What do I want? I want to be inspired. I want a cup of coffee. And I want to be left the fuck alone.